another video. My name is Marie if you are new around here. So in today's video I'm going to be doing another party prep video. I have two November babies. So we just celebrated my baby boy's first birthday party. We did a really cute fun Dr. Seuss party for him. So make sure you check that video out if you're interested in seeing the cutest first birthday party. So my 11 year old is turning 12 on November the 20th. So this weekend we're going to be having a really fun movie night themed birthday party for her. It's going to start about 5 o'clock. We're going to do pizza, popcorn. I'm going to have like concessions and just try to make it seem like a little in-home theater for her friends. They're going to have this big sleepover in the living room. So my husband and I tonight are just going to go into the bedroom and watch a movie after the kiddos go to bed so that Adeline and her friends can just have the whole living room and popcorn and just enjoy a movie night themed hangout party. So if you are out of ideas, for your preteen or teen girl, then this is a really fun one for girls around her age. They kind of outgrow the Minnie Mouse parties and the princess parties and you don't really know what to do anymore. They kind of get to that age where it kind of gets harder to buy things for them and you don't really know what they want. So I came up with this really cute idea and I think it's going to be so fun and I can't wait to share the way that everything's going to turn out. I have lots of really cute ideas in mind. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'll link what I can down below. All of this should be linked. This is a banner. It says movie night. So we're going to get that hung up in just a minute. These are the balloons. This is actually like a pop popcorn balloon and then we have the gold black and red balloons and then I got these popcorn boxes because we are doing pizza and popcorn for the party and then for candles I just got these gold number 12 candles and we're doing cupcakes instead of a cake so I thought these were really cute to stick into the cake there's just like popcorn and like film and chocolate bars movie tickets and this is the gift that I got her so she does have like an mp3 player but she also has like actual CD discs and so she was wanting a CD player so I got her this portable CD player so I think she's really gonna love this and then I also have this really pretty bracelet for her it says beautiful girl you can do amazing things and positive affirmation are so important for girls especially her age with the way the world is now we're so dysfunctional but still inseparable yeah we just never get it right you're playing games with me me and my sympathy but not enough to say goodbye Y'all, whenever you're planning your kid's birthday party, you do not have to go over the top. You do not have to go out and spend tons of money on decorations. I always plan my kids' birthdays to be super affordable, but also really fun and really cute. Definitely check out Pinterest. They have tons of ideas for anything that you are looking for. So for her popcorn movie night birthday party, I am making a concession stand. So basically I'm just making this little concession sign out of material I already had laying around my house. And underneath it, I'm just gonna be putting a bunch of chips and Capri Suns. We're gonna have pizza. We're gonna have popcorn, any kind of concessions you wanna put under here. And I'm also putting some little tacks underneath the cabinets where you will not see a hole in the wall. I'll be completing this area the next day, which is party day, and I love the way this space ends up turning out. How perfect are these popcorn boxes for a movie night party? So I actually got 15 of these boxes for eight bucks. You can also get a larger quantity for a little bit more money, but I didn't have to use all of the 15 boxes at the party. I didn't need that many. So I was able to put some up for us to do a family movie night later on. So it's a win-win and I think the price was really affordable for all of these and it turned out really cute. So I'll be filling those up with popcorn on party day. So now I'm gonna go ahead and order some last minute things from Walmart. I needed some boxed candy for the concessions bar, some paper plates, a tablecloth, things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and order those to be picked up so I can finish decorating the next day before the party. 
So I was hanging up a movie night banner and I originally hung it up over the window and realized that it didn't look that good here with the balloons since the balloons were so bulky with the popcorn balloon. There's two of these big popcorn balloons and they're so cute, but this is the hardest garland I have ever made. I love to make balloon garlands for my kids' birthday parties. They just look so cute and so fun for each theme that we go with. And y'all, they are so easy to make. I just use the plastic balloon garland strip, blow up the balloons, and the tails of the balloons go right into the garland strip. The reason this one was so hard is because the popcorn balloons were so big and bulky, and I was trying to stand them upright, but they kept flipping forward. So instead of just having just the colored balloons like I typically have, I had these bulky balloons that I was fighting with, but I eventually made it work, and it ended up turning out really, really, really cute. And Adeline really ended up loving her party. Y'all, like I said in the beginning of this video, once you have older kids, it really gets hard trying to figure out what they want for their birthday and what kind of theme they want because they don't even know. So it's really fun to come up with little things like this. The girls had a really fun time at the sleepover this night. We just made a big pallet in the floor and they had popcorn and chips and just had a big movie night. This party was so affordable. So in my pack from Amazon, it came with the movie night banner, three star balloons, all of the other balloons that are shown here, as well as six cupcake toppers. And it was only like $12.99 for this whole set. And then of course I have my 97 cent tablecloth, my 97 cent cake plates. And I did 24 cupcakes instead of a cake so that Adeline and her friends could just grab a cupcake. And this party was super affordable, you guys, and it turned out really cute and she had a blast. So I'm going to go ahead and get Adeline ready for her birthday party and we are going to use my brand new blow dryer. I have been absolutely loving this blow dryer. It's very compact. It's good for traveling or to store in your small bathroom. I've replaced my big bulky old blow dryer with this one. I love this blow dryer so much you guys. It works so well and it's super fast drying also. So the two buttons on the front, one is the power switch. The other one is a mode switch button and the different modes that it has. The blue light is cold wind. The yellow light is warm air. The red light is hot air. It has a white light that turns off the heat and blows only. And then the multicolor one is my favorite LED light. It is so pretty and that is for alternate hot and cold wind. I think my favorite feature about this blow dryer is definitely the air collecting nozzle. It is magnetic so you don't have to worry about spending a lot of time with attachment pieces, unscrewing, twisting off, popping on and off. It literally just magnetically sticks on to the blow dryer and it is so quick and easy to use so you can use it with the nozzle or without. It also has an attached filter at the base of the blow dryer and it's so easy to clean. I am very satisfied with this blow dryer. It has been working awesome. It is a high speed 
hair dryer so it's going to dry your hair fast and efficiently i love how this blow dryer offers more features than your typical average blow dryer it actually has four different speeds there's like a low medium a high and a very extra high speed and i will typically dry my hair on the high or the extra high speed and it works really fast with blow drying my hair and with my old blow dryer, holding my blow dryer over my head for so long, my hand would actually get tired because it was big and bulky and heavy. This one is super lightweight and sleek, and it looks so cute and easy to store away under my sink. And if we ever travel, go on a vacation, I know that this is going to be so easy to just slip into my bag. If y'all are interested in one of these high speed blow dryers, I can highly recommend them. I'm going to go ahead and link it down below in my description box in case you guys want to check it out. I usually do not let my daughter wear makeup unless it is just lip gloss, but we were doing a little makeover since today was her 12th birthday. So we went ahead and blow dried her hair. I'm going to curl it and then I'm going to show you guys the way her hair turned out here in just a minute. The next day it's party day and we gave Adeline a makeover. We put on some makeup and I curled her hair. She doesn't typically wear makeup other than maybe some lip gloss or chapstick and sometimes we'll crimp her hair but usually she just likes to just be natural. I don't know, I think her hair turned out so pretty. What do you think about it? Do you like it? Yes, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. What do you think about your party, your theme, your popcorn and movie night theme? awesome it's creative so anyways she's expecting a couple of friends to get here in just a little bit I've got a concession stand halfway done we're gonna finish that up today we are about to get her cupcakes and put the little pics in it and get this party completely set up so if y'all want to wish Adeline a happy birthday go ahead and drop down in the comments happy birthday and I'll let her read all of your messages let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted so Quick bottled water hack if you want to keep it in the packaging. Instead of fighting trying to get them out of the front, just cut the packaging in half and split it this way and that way people can grab a water right out of the top. What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting, irresistible When I look through your eyes, not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied, stayed over the surface Now I just can't get enough You make me feel good like no other I just want everyone to see what I've discovered And when I'm with you, I go higher You lift me up, now I can see so much fun So I got some cake on the lid of the cake pedestal but I'm gonna take a paper towel and wipe that off before the party starts. I'm taking the remaining cupcakes and putting them around the pedestal and putting the cupcake picks inside them and I think it turned out so cute y'all and I'm also gonna leave my cake pedestal linked down below. Every time I show it I get lots of comments and questions about it. It is from walmart.com and I will have it linked below. Begun 
taken me a while to get it Had to live and cry to appreciate life And what you give is worth it When you're holding me and when you hold me so close I So over in my concessions, I ended up doing popcorn, chips, Capri Suns, sodas, and we also had pizza. But I think it would be really cute for a movie night to also do hot dogs. But we just went ahead and did pizza. And I actually had a card. You buy one large pizza and get one free. So I purchased two pizzas and got two for free. So that worked out really good for us. I also did boxed candy and I only got M&M's because I didn't want any of the kids to argue or fight over who gets what. So I got all the same thing so there was no fighting. So I just got M&M's but I thought it would be really cool to put some assorted candy over here from Walmart. So the boxed candy is a little over a dollar a piece. So I got all of the kids a box of candy and wrote their names on it so that everybody gets a box. So that was kind of like our party favors for the party was the boxed of candies. I hope I was able to give you some fun ideas if you want to plan a movie night birthday party for your kiddo. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you wish Adeline a happy 12th birthday. Next year she's going to be a teenager, y'all. She's going to be 13. I cannot believe it. But thank y'all so much for watching today's video, and we will catch y'all in our next one. Bye. Oh